How's it going everybody? Welcome back to a brand new series on the channel. We are bringing you to FIFA 2022, or FIFA 22 rather, with Wolves. We're going to be starting a brand new uh, career mode. I'm not a big fan, or, or not, not a big fan, but just not really play career mode much over the last few years. So I thought, today let's kick off a series and, and give it a go. So we're kicking off here. Uh, let's pick a manager. I mean, yeah, he's got, he looks all right. Um... Just going to be setting him up now, and basically, we're just going to see how we can get on. I'm not, I don't really play much offline FIFA to be honest, so this is going to be something a little bit different. Um, and I want it, want you guys to get involved in the comment section. Let me know some suggestions for players that we should be signing. Um, let me know what things I should and shouldn't be doing on career mode because, like I said, I don't really uh, play much of it. So we're just uh, punching in the details for our manager just here. That's absolutely fine. Um, authentic club, obviously, and Wolves are up there. So, board expectations. Domestic success is medium. Uh, continental success, obviously, low. Brand exposure, medium. Could argue that should be a little bit higher. Financial, low, and youth development, medium. Uh, I'm not sure why our budget is in, do in dollars, but it seems like we've got a decent amount. I will change that if we can. Thank you. Uh, to Sterling, half length, yeah, we're going to be playing on, playing on world class, obviously, I don't really know what my quality is like um, on offline, so if it's too easy, we'll push it up, and uh, transfer window, and yeah, looks all good to me, so uh, let, let's jump into it, oh, here we are, that, this is me, with my little bleach blonde hair, that, that looks pretty good, actually. I do like that graphic. Let me put my headphones on so I could hear uh, what's going on. So, we've got already a little um, pre-season tournament. A couple of teams here. Obviously, we want the one with the most prize money. They're all the same difficulty. So, let's go in the European Shield. Uh, get Sporting. Braga, a couple of... Port and, and, and Porto. A couple of Portuguese teams. Leverkusen, Osasuna, Nice and Getafe. Let's go with that one. Um, as our pre-season tournament. And like I said, I've not really played much of this before, so I'd assume we want to go onto notifications and check out what they're saying. Uh, first one, we've got the scout, uh, Harrison Burnett. We'll check that out in a minute. First team report for scouting, uh, brand exposure. We've had a look at this. So, so they want us to sign four players in our youth academy, uh, a goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, forward, make 2.6 million profit from youth player sales within two seasons. Um, and then sign two players outside of Europe. So quite interesting um, what they're expecting. And they want us to finish. Is that this season? Finishing a Europa League spot uh, and reach the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. So, you know, pretty demanding, uh, you know, pretty demanding uh, expectations there from the board. Let's just get rid of these. Transfer window is open. Uh, our youth academy. So have we got anybody in there? Uh, let's have a look. So we have got a few players, a couple with decent potential. You've got this guy, 15 years of age, uh, left midfielder from Ivory Coast. His potential is between 65 and 87. Um, he obviously, I'd assume his pace is going to shoot up, but he looks half decent so far. So decent, all right, that's not too bad at all. Um, and then we've got... I don't know why it won't let me delete those. There we go. Uh, and the first scouting report. So ideally, before we even look at this, a centre-back and central midfielder. Pretty high calibre and quality if we can. Um, so these are the players that have been scouted already. All young players from across the Premier League. Obviously, Wesley Fofana, the most notable ones of those so far. Eve Basuma as well. He's not bad. Uh, ben White. I mean, he's put some pretty... Uh, Sigurdsson. Uh, he's put some pretty decent uh, names in there. So, of course, we'll have a look at that later. And then follow it, uh, finally, the scouts. So, we've got our scout network here. Obviously, we want probably young players as well. So, he's got some scouts. Uh, let's get some from maybe, you know, it looks like he's, he's France. Can I not put him any scout reports yet? No? No, okay. We can relocate him after. So, yeah, we're pretty much done. So, let's have a quick look at our squad. Players that I want to sell. Players that I want to keep. Um, is it Squad Hub, maybe? Is that the best place to go? Yeah, okay. This is a good place. So, Sar Sarkic is out on loan and John Ruddy. Goalkeepers, we're fine. Giles and Vanagre are out on uh, on loan. I'd assume... I mean, we can recall Vanagre, but, I mean, he's probably someone that we look to sell um, eventually. Although, I know in real life he's got a clause... Uh, Johnny, we've got his match fit. Ryan ain't nor we've got Hugo Bueno. I'm going to add to our loan list to try and get him out some game time. 
Because we've got Aignori and Johnny, I think I'm going to probably try and cash in on Marcel. So we're going to add him to the transfer list uh, there, Marcel. Centre-backs as well. We've got quite a number of centre-backs. So uh, Kilman, uh, Cody, Sace, Bolly. They're not too bad. I think if if a bigger and better player comes up, then you know we'll cash in on one of those. But Estrada for the time being, we're going to add to the loan list. And Lewis Richards, we're going to add to the loan list. We have got Jess and Mascara as well. Christian Marquez, who is out on loan in real life. Um, Matheson, we're going to loan out. We'll use Keanu Hoover and Samedo. And then all of these players. I'd assume there's not like an academy or anything. So let's loan out all these young players. Bruno Jordao is there. Shem Campbell will loan out. Uh, Shabani, again, will loan out. There's going to be a lot of players moving out on loan. And then wingers, I think we're pretty set. Connor Carty will loan out. And then we've got a lot of players already out on loan. So... Gonna be interested to see how we how we get on um, with with that and how much money did we have? I didn't actually check in terms of finances. Uh, we have got where well, it's forty million, so that's not a bad amount of money. So I'm gonna already have a look for someone like and, and do it. Wolves never managed to do it. Someone like Renato Sanchez, I think, would be perfect, obviously, for our team. We're very short on um, central midfield numbers at, at the moment. And there he is, Renato Sanchez. So how does it work? Do I need to... So his value is 28.5. They've got a release clause of 59 million. He's rated 80. Uh, obviously, I'd assume that rating can go up with game time and so on. So I need to shortlist and view, I'd assume. Okay. And then we can put in an offer. So here we go. We're going to put in an offer to buy early doors, Renato Sanchez. An offer between 33.3 million. Uh, to 44 million. So let's see. This is the first little bit of negotiation we're having to do. That's pretty. That's pretty good. That is the little signed shirts. This is me. I don't know if I could change what I look like. Good to see you. We've been looking forward to sitting down with you. Shall we make a start? All right. Who are we looking at? Do I skip this bit? Let's skip this bit. So. Um. Let's offer a transfer fee. Let's go early doors. Let's go with a very fair, I think, £30 million. With a sell-on clause of 5%. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm channeling my inner football manager here. Let's submit that offer. £30 million with 5% of a future value. So they say no, but we'd sell it at 43 Let's counter that. Let's go. Propose new transfer fee. Let's go 35. Thirty-five bang on. Submit off. So they don't want to sell on fee either. I'm not trying to cut corners, but I promise you we want Santa to join us, but we can't go off or oh, higher. So now 39. So I wonder if we can maybe do a swap deal in here. So let's go again. 35 mil. What sort of player do they need? Should we try Marcel? Marcel and 35 million. Okay, they're saying no. For the time being, I'm going to end the negotiation then. We made him fly all the way from France. Okay, we're going to end that negotiation, but I'm, I'm fairly certain we're going to come back for Renato Sanchez in the future. So let's skip forward a little bit. Um, let's see what's going on. We've got a bit of training, so let's see what's going on. We're going to simulate all of these dribbling maze. Can we add players to that? or Extreme hot potato, you midfielders, dribbling maze. I mean, let's just go with all of those to see what's going on. Fitness has gone down. D on all of them. Which isn't good. The sharpness has gone up, but their fitness has gone down, which I, I'd expect. So we've now ha had an offer actually for Marcel. It's from Brest over in France, where of course he used to play. Uh, 3.35 million. He's valued at 3 million, to be fair. So I think we're just going to... I'm not going to be greedy. I'm just going to accept that offer and, uh, and move Marcel on to Brest over in France. And we've got a few player chats. A lot of them... 
thinking, um, you know, they want to go out on loan. Cody's also saying, welcome to the club. I'll tell him the future's exciting and his morale has gone up. So we're going to have our first game of the career mode today. We're going to be playing up against Braga in the European Shield. We're going to go full strength team. What I am going to do though is change formation of the team throughout the series. I think we're going to start off with a 4-2-3-1. So here we are with the teams. We can see Braga playing a 3-4-2-1. Very, very attacking formation uh, with Horta, Gonzalez and Piazzon up top there. A uh, decent back three for them as well, but we're starting with a 4 2 3 1. We're going to have Jose Sar in goal, Johnny, Cody, Bolly, and Samedo across the back. Nevers and Martino in the middle, with Neto and Troy Ray on the wings, and Huang Hee Chan starting in behind Raul Jimenez. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis. So here we are then, the opening game of the uh, career mode, and we're against Braga today. I think one of the things that I want to ask you guys is, do you want to see every game of the season, or do you want to see a couple of games a month maybe, so we can get through the season quicker? I'm totally open to suggestions, so please let me know what you, you guys think. Um, but hopefully we can get off to a winning start here. Here's Traore early on. Lays it back off to Jao Martino. Can we get an early attack going here? Got Huang in for Jimenez, who scores within four minutes. It's Raul Jimenez, and he scores the first goal of the career mode, and we won the up here against Braga. Easy work. Braga just made it far too easy. Huang just plays that ball through, and Jimenez drills it hard and low across the goalkeeper into the back of the net. Beautiful finish, and we won the up. Neves, lovely ball out to Adama. Who's going to keep this in here? Adama Traore. Oh, brilliant from Adama. Lays it off and it's 2 0. Nine minutes gone. Is it Neto? It is Pedro Neto that scored it, but from start to finish, that move is beautiful. The ball out from uh, Neves, the step overs from Adama absolutely sells him. And Neto there against his old team actually smashes it home and makes it 2-0. Here's Adama on the counter attack for us here. Obviously no one is going to catch him for pace. And Adama Traore has got to just create the angle for himself. And he does near post. Good save from the goalkeeper. Close to 3-0 within the first 15 minutes there. Adama Traore hits it. Near post and a good save by the goalkeeper. Jimenez. Huang. Good football again. Here it is for Adama. He's got a few to pick from. It's Huang Hee Chan. It's 3 0. And so far, so good, guys. Maybe I said about the difficulty. Maybe that does need to be notched up a little bit. But so far, seeing how much impact Adama is having down that right hand side, causing Braga all sorts of issues. Uh, but it is a very, very good start overall. He's from out, finds Huang Hee Chan, and again finds Adama Traore, who's on his bike, a lovely one too, with Raul Jimenez, and Adama is in again here. Adama Traore for Wolves. Couple of step overs, I did a bit too much there. Jimenez! Oh, and he hits the side net in. Did the keeper save that, did he? Oh, that is a great save. I just thought we'd hit the side net. And that is an unbelievable save by the goalkeeper. Adama's coming short for this one. And gets it here. Easily defended by Braga. Matinho can't get there. And Braga can go away with the ball now. Ball forward is decent as well. Horta is in for Braga. He's laid it off back. They've got to shoot. It's blocked. Saved by Jose Sar. And they've scored. Oh, man. Poor, very poor because uh, the run sort of stuttered. Jose saw there stuttered and then a good block there. And that was just a poor goalkeeping. He should have held that. And it's 3-1. Braga have got a goal back in this game. Can Martino restart the move? No, he can't. And Braga can maybe break. Samedo picks it back up. And that will be half-time. A big chance right at the end of the half there. Uh, but it wasn't... Quite to be, but we are 3-1 up in this game, being very, very comfortable so far. Raul Jimenez with a goal, three shots as well. And uh, yeah, so far looking so good. And Neves picks the ball back up now and will lay off Pedro Neto. 
Neto again picks it back up here. Tries that drilled ball across to Adama. Didn't quite work out. We're going to see a couple of changes here for Braga. It's going to be Martins on for Medeiros. They, of course, are chasing the game. 3 1 down. Galeno there with the ball forward towards Horta. Bolly equal to it again. Out to Matinho. And we'll find Neves, who can now drive forward with this ball. Ruben Neves. We'll find Pedro Neto. Neves. Jimenez. Loads of room for Adama again on the right hand side. Adama Troy. Oh, yes. 4 1. Brilliant goal there at the near post and smashes it across goal to find the back of the net. It's a really, really nice finish by Adama. He's been causing them all sorts of problems today and makes it 4 1. And we're going to see three changes from us now, just under half an hour to go. That isn't the Vitinha, is it, by Braga, by the way? I doubt, I doubt it's the Vitinha. We're going to make a few changes as well. It's going to be Fabio Silva, Dendonka and Daniel Pedence on for Jimenez, Matinho and Neto. And here we go, Pedence already with his first touch of the game. Lays off Fabio Silva, who's going to launch a move maybe for Adama Troy all right. Turns back Adama there, then Donka. Into Neves, who can hit them from range. And it goes just wide. Ball in there by Braga. Can't quite head it away. Lays it back off. Galeno again. It's good football by Braga. They've got to score that. Oh! Oh, I thought we'd kept it out. Sorry again, a little bit suspect with that goalkeeping. But Braga have got a goal. And it is 4-2. Bossman, it's a friendly, you 4 2 down. Out the camera. Oh, that's close. I don't know who that was trying to keep off. Was it Huang? Very tight, unlucky. Oh, no, Johnny. But in the end, Braga do have another goal and possibly 20 minutes to get themselves back in this game now. Pedence to Neves. He's looking at Adama, but he'll find Fabio Silva instead. Silva to Pedence again. Running in field, Daniel Pedence gets the pass away to Huang and will find a Dharma Traore again who can maybe grab another goal. He can. It's 5 2 at the death to wrap up the game. He has been phenomenal and I'm looking forward. Is he there? He's on the t shirt as well. Of course he is. A Dharma Traore makes it 5 2 to Wolves and that makes it game over. The space on the right hand side has just opened up to him every time and those shots across goal have caused the goalkeeper trouble all game. And in the end, it looks like it's going to be a very, very comfortable win for us. Ball in. Cody heads away. Can we add one more maybe? Is Fabio Silva going to get there? He is. Fabio Silva gets away from his man. And he'll start a counter-attack on his own here. Fabio Silva still running through on goal. Fabio Silva still in. Fabio Silva! Oh, what a goal! The goal of the game by Fabio Silva. Who's run the length of the pitch to put it into the back of the net. It is phenomenal. The fresh legs of Fabio Silva. And a beautiful finish from the Wonder Kid. That is a really, really good goal. Hits across it. A cross goal again. And it's Wolf 6. Braga 2. Right on the full-time whistle. Phenomenal goal to finish us off. But uh, a phenomenal win overall. I'm really, really happy with that. With beating Carlos Carvajal's Braga very, very convincingly in this preseason tournament. Uh, and let's have a quick look at the match stats to finish off. And as you can see, 13 shots to their 9. 65% possession. Uh, a very, very dominant win. So I think we're going to call it there for the first episode. Of course, our first win. Um, it looks like Marcel is on his way out. And of course, a failed negotiation as well with Renato Sanchez. But we will, uh, in the next episode, probably get a final few transfers done and kick off the Premier League season as well. Um, 
and see who we've brought in and who's gone out. But do let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if you're looking forward to this series, how you want me to work it. Do you want to see every game of the Premier League season? Or would you rather see a couple every month just to get the season rocking and rolling? But guys, as always, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.